Okay, so let's jump right in. We are going to be working on our, kind of our first introduction project, which is going to be about where your feet have taken you this summer. Okay, so about my summer footprint, if you will. So all you're gonna need in order to get started with this is any kind of piece of paper. And you guys, I don't really care. You can use newspaper, you could use a brown bag, <laughs> you could use regular printer paper, cardstock, whatever you can find for this assignment. I know not everybody has purchased their supplies yet and that's totally fine. So whatever you have available to you, you're gonna get started with just a piece of paper. Okay, the first step in doing this assignment is to take off your shoes and socks and to trace your foot. So I actually decided not to show you how to trace your foot. I'm pretty sure you're capable. We've been doing that since kindergarten. So I just put this piece of paper on the floor and you can see I have a very rough kind of like sketchy outline um, from my foot. I haven't modified this at all. So before you actually start working on your project after you have sketched it, I advise you to definitely modify the shape of your foot. So like I have extra lines because I kind of leaned in as I was kind of moving around to trace my foot. So grab yourself an eraser and just kind of modify the outline of your foot so that it looks like kind of just one foot <laughs> instead of multiples, right? So I'm just gonna go around and kind of clean up my lines here. All right, and you can do exactly the same thing. Just take an eraser and modify any sketchy parts that are kind of loose or not quite accurate. Um, gosh, my, it's so funny how our feet look, right? When they're sketched. So you're gonna start out, modify. I'm probably gonna come up here and kind of modify in, but I'll just keep top. I don't wanna get through it really quick so you guys can keep going. So go ahead and modify and make it so that you have a footprint. Once you're there, we have a couple of requirements for this project. The very first requirement for this project is that your name is somehow integrated, all right? So what I mean by that, I-N-T-E-G-R-A-T-E-D, <laughs> name is integrated. So somehow inside your foot, you need to have your name in here. It can, it doesn't have to be your first and last name. It can just be your first name. However you would like to do it, you can use any font, any style of writing, you can bubble, you can script, you can get experimental, you could just literally write it <laughs> somehow, but I would like it to be the most emphasized part of this project. So in some way, we're actually gonna be doing a project all about emphasis. But the concept of emphasizing something means that it is the most prominent, it's the boldest. And that could be because it's the most colorful, it could be because it's just the largest, right? There's lots of ways to add emphasis. So however you would like to do that, you need to have your name somehow in your footprint, okay? The second thing that's a requirement, or the second requirement for you, is that you fill your paper, fill the paper. Okay, so however you decide to design this situation here, your footprint about your summer, I want it to be full. That could be, it could be simple. You could just fill the inside of your foot and then color the background. You could layer it with magazines that you peel apart and stretch and kind of piece in and glue down. You could just color it with colored pencil. You could make designs. Whatever you wanna do, show off your creativity. This is the very first project that we're doing, but don't bite off more than you can chew. I don't want you guys like spending 18 hours or something crazy on this assignment. This is a get to know you sort of assignment, something for fun to do at home um, and hopefully get you out of books and just getting creative. Okay, so fill your paper. And then the last requirement for this is that you make sure that you have at least, so include at least, okay, that means you can do more. All right, five different things you did this summer during quarantine, <laughs> okay? So I don't know about you. I don't know if you have been at home this entire time. I don't know if you've been going out. There's no judgments here. Just tell us five different things that you did this summer and illustrate it somehow in here. Again, you could use magazines. Maybe you went to the beach and you find a picture of a magazine of a beach and you wanna glue that in and draw around it or something cool like that. Maybe you just wanna draw some waves. Totally simple and totally fine. Maybe you haven't gone anywhere. Maybe you've just been spending a lot of time reading this summer or maybe you've been watching a lot of TV this summer. You can draw a TV, you could draw a book, right? So get creative on how you illustrate and add into this design. Again, this should not take you more, I would say not more than an one hour total
total time, all right? So between the half of today that you have to work on this and then the half of the day that you will have um, at our next class session. So about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour is all you should spend on this. And then all we're gonna do is share these out the next time that we're together so we can kind of get to know one another, talk about our summers in a fun way um, and be creative all at the same time. Have fun making this. You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. Staying up all night, throwing drinks back.